Hey everybody, it's me. What? Did you not press start? Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... Ben, who did press start. <laughs> Welcome to the Journals of Awakening. We have some hot stuff for you today. What is it about, Rainy? Uh, it's about it's about Buddhism and self-improvement. Really? I talked about that today. No, you didn't. Should you not? Not the Buddhist part, right? The Buddhist part. That's crazy. Yeah. You did not. I talked it. about if people in my life, just quote me on the end, if monks, I said, yeah, I mean, nobody's perfect unless you're a freaking monk. And I said, eh, and then still you're religious, so you're not perfect. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, so you have no idea what Buddhism is. No, I have no clue, obviously. All Why right. don't you just uh, indoctrinate, I mean, teach me. It. <laughs> Buddhism is not an awareness, or Buddhism is an awareness. It is not a... Um, it is not a religion. You're not... Although Buddha exists, it's more of a Does symbol. Does he? Yeah, but no. <laughs> exactly. I don't know enough to like... The reason that question tripped me out was because I just don't know enough to say one way or another. I'm going to find you. Uh, I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Buddha is like a symbol. Of, and then there... Like, they believe that one teacher said it best. Not not like claim to be the son of God or anything. Well, I don't know that. And so that was the six-armed elephant, right? No, I don't No, I don't think so. Um, oh. See, you don't know. I know, I don't. That's what I just said, but... So I, why are you correcting me if you don't know? I know that much. Um, Which is? Buddhism is a, is a way of life to find enlightenment yes it is probably the closest thing to what you and i kind of like believe in would consider enlightenment yes yes exactly so uh i got next question from <laughs> just kidding <laughs> from work today i got these um i realized i was talking really slow because i took a dab so now i'm like okay get with the program right <laughs> so at work today, there are these. There were these, uh, like locally harvested bubble agate, which is a type of crystal. Bubble agate. Yeah. So <laughs> she said agate. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Sorry, I still laugh at ketchup when it farts. I don't so. get what agate. Why? Why'd you laugh? <coughs> I can't comment on that. Okay. No. So this is this is raw bubble agate. Okay. You guys see that stuff? We were selling it for thirty bucks. Nobody can see it. Anyway. It's like bubbly it was, rocks. Yeah. <laughs> they can look it up if they're actually that concerned. But it comes in these Tibetan prayer flag bags. And Tibetan prayer flags are what the... It's just like... Um, it's a flag for what they stand for, basically. And I can't read it, but... It's each, religious. Each color stands for something different. No, no. And I looked it up today because it's really not religious. And I feel like I can only give you an example. Tibetan. I don't. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm not like an anti-religious. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just, no. Uh, I just question everything. So I just, you know, if it's a religion, it's. I want to know the deep meaning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I because I just I can't quote it because I just learned this today. What well, represents the colors on Tibetan flag? It's called a prayer flag, but separate prayer from Christian, and then you'll probably feel more comfortable. So, each hue, <laughs> I know you like that word. Yeah, what do they mean by hue? Color. Uh, color. Oh, are always oh. arranged in a specific order from left to right. Blue, white, red, green, yellow. Blue, missing. blue represents the sky. White represents the air. Red symbolizes fire. White, or blue represents the sky. <laughs> white <laughs> represents the air. Red is fire, green is water, and yellow is earth. <laughs> and they all and they are they're all together for balance, right? Those are rewind sound. But uh the flags don't carry mantras to the gods, you know, that's not so it's not like the huh? the American flag. Like you're not saying it for someone or something. You know? Uh, uh I'm incredibly lost. Okay. Okay. I know and I just I want You're like Googling right now. It's you don't know shit. I do not know what to say today. doesn't know a damn thing, I you just, guys. <laughs> so you know how I said, like, for the sky, but it wasn't just for the sky. It was like, okay, it was like, oh, it's right here. So, blue is the sky. It symbolizes purity or healing. It is believed that when meditating on this color, anger can be turned to wisdom. And then it's like... 
air, uh, white is delusion of ignorance, uh, can cut delusion of ignorance and turn it into reality. And then red is fire, and that says mm -hmm. represents both internal and external heat or energy. And then green symbolizes nature. <laughs> and it says meditating on this color can help get one of jealousy and it was like something specific like cut jealousy and turn it into like self okay so yeah. every everything means haters something. equal fuel <laughs> everything means something like super deep okay so mm -hmm. i was like wow like that's crazy because ever since i can remember buddhism was the thing i felt the closest to if i was going to put a label on it and um it was something that I learned about in like 7th or 8th grade and it just kind of stuck with me. So I found out today because uh, Anne and I were talking about it and I asked my mom what religion, you know, Joe is. Yeah. You know, and yeah. he's Buddhist. And Joe is your... What do we call him? I don't know. You brought him up, so you got to tell no, people. Yeah, yeah, who's, no. who's Joe? What would I call him? Joe is... It's your mom's sugar daddy. No, that is not true. <laughs> what do you want to call him? You asked me twice, so I just, I don't know what to call him. I, know, I wasn't asking you. I was speaking out loud <laughs> trying to ask myself. Joe is uh, basically a family. Joe is my mom's best friend. Okay, there you go. That is the very, very best way to put that. Okay. He calls my mom every day. They. It'd be like if Mr. Beast was my best friend. They've known each other since <laughs> they were like 18 or 19. You know, it's yeah. like... <clears throat> Joe is my mom's best friend, and he's from Hong Kong, and so he's Buddhist, I found out today. And he sent me a, a lucky bracelet with jade on it, a red lucky bracelet with jade on it. Which it's pretty is, nice. Yeah, and I'm sure the red is I love jade, too. so I love it, actually. <laughs> but he has always sent us things. He <coughs> Once where, he sent us a necklace. Where does he live? Uh, Chicago. Oh, <laughs> I'm all thinking he lives in like North Korea or no, something. No. something cool. Oh, man. <laughs> no, man. <clears throat> but Chicago. <laughs> he sent me like, uh, like one of the necklaces, like the Catholic square, you know, the square necklaces, but in Buddhist form, and it was a tiger, which is my uh, my Chinese zodiac sign. Mm -hmm. So he was like super into that, all that stuff, and it's so funny because I just realized. So that's probably where it came from. Interesting. Because if you really, because you know, obviously and we're talking about Buddhist. Yeah, no, we're yeah, but hmm. now we're talking about Joe. It's interesting because I've always been into astrology. Okay, but astrology started with like, I have always known my Chinese zodiac because I've always known Joe. Okay. Right. So right. it's just like, maybe that was what he taught me. He never had any kids. Knock knock. Who's there? Joe. Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> like, no, That's no, pretty no. crazy, right? Yeah, right? right? Why would your mama be at the door? That's like insane, right? Why would she just <laughs> come over and knock? She wouldn't just text you or something first, you know? Um, I don't... <clears throat> Did you ever learn about Buddhism in school? No. I didn't go to school much. Oh, but, I uh, definitely didn't go to a religious and school. And I definitely didn't go to a religious school. Nah, I'm public school. Right, school of hard knocks. What? <laughs> school of hard knocks. That's right. So, what did you think Buddhism was? What do you mean? It's the monks. They they rake the the sand. They make it look pretty, and they. Oh, because your dad's always been into like the Asian culture. The Asian culture. My dad's See? obsessed with the See? Asian culture, and so look, that's why. Another I know that. way in which our lives parallel. Yeah, my other. dad was a kung fu uh, master. No, I know. <laughs> like I guess technically, I I don't know why I degrade him because he was good, you know. But I'm just saying. It's, that's what I'm wondering. It's just weird how we both had Asian influence a in lot. our lives. Like I just taught you who Bruce Lee was, fool. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I said it like that, fool. I've never. I don't watch fighting movies. Man, Bruce Lee's a legend. Everybody knows who Bruce Lee is. <laughs> yeah, in the movies, right? So love. yeah, no, he's the guy that kicked Chuck Norris's ass. In a movie, right? Hey, I don't want to hear I, your bullshit. I okay. Need the confirmation. Life, life, and movies are exactly the same thing. <laughs> I just want you to know there are no difference. Okay, I have lived every scenario there is possible. Okay, through movies, oh by, by curiously. By <laughs> <laughs> I sure have, brother. <laughs> yeah. 
That's my favorite word because it confuses her. So back to the topic <laughs> that you didn't know we were having. We have a su- what? That, yeah. All back right. To the What's going on? Isn't it kind of crazy that our lives kind of line up like that, right? No, I feel like everything falls into place. I've always believed that. Yeah, I know. I mean, like you. Like it's meant to be. Yeah, yeah like obviously, uh, really our lives are very alike. So they kind. I mean, not alike, but you know, so they inter- they intertwine. All, but, yeah, but they do yeah, intertwine. Exact- like, we cross paths yes, a few times. Yes, exactly. You know? Like we, that's what it is. Our lives weave. Like we do different things, but we always kind of meet up in that's the middle. So you know? that's so funny because that's how our relationship is too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we meet in the middle. Though. There's times where we're just like this, and then we go like that, you yeah. know, and like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that's more. True. It's more together than. Apart. I was going <laughs> to say, I hope it's not a big figure. No, no, it's not. <laughs> That's why I was, like, trying to exaggerate. Like, no, it's we're like, like this. But uh, it's really cool. Um, and yeah. I am sad because when I met your sister, she, you, she was studying all religions. Yeah, she was studying what Buddhist she back was, in the day. Yeah, that's yeah. what she wanted to. And then she, I think that now she's Muslim. That's different, right? It's completely yeah, different. yeah. It's totally different. You're okay. not worshiping someone. Muslim is just Christianity. Is it? Buddhism doesn't worship anyone. It worships inner healing yourself. That's interesting. Yeah. So she was on Maybe the path of enlightenment and got misguided because she didn't trust herself enough. It was the guy. Yeah. Shout out to Mohammed. He's a little fucking dork, like a piece no, of shit. No, I know, but yeah. she didn't trust herself enough. And that's what Buddhism is. You have to give yourself so much trust <coughs> to heal what's, what's wrong with you. You know, you have yeah. to be brave and do it. And that's where she faltered. <clears throat> and she you know, was, if I wasn't, see it. if I wasn't like, I don't know who I am, maybe I, I would be Buddhist. Like, I would totally try that religion. Like, if I had a choice, like, if somebody laid out religion at the beginning of my life, or no religion, right? I might try Buddhist first. So here's the thing is, I am so grateful that I know everything about Catholicism. <laughs> because because being Catholic... Like the art of uh, decapitating people? Yeah, it's, yeah. Right. Definitely. Catholicism. Uh, <laughs> the, These big ass words, Catholicism. Because <laughs> worshipping a religion like that, that literally has like no basis in life, uh, is like... It's so extreme that anything else was so much less. Sorry for the motorcycle, for the guys. Motorcycle. <laughs> um, so, basically. And everybody, every religion has good ideas, right? So, like, be nice to each other, blah, 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 blah. All that kind of stuff. Like, a good <coughs> guideline. If you follow any sort of religion, you're probably... <coughs> like, you probably have an idea or you you really need answers. Mm-hmm. You know, to not have religion from the get-go uh, is you're not on the hunt for answers, which shows a lack of self-awareness. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. How do you not want to know where you can't? Yeah, from? you can't just know. You have to have tried. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So if you're just atheist without experience, exactly, you can't just be like, I don't believe in God because God's stupid. <laughs> you're, yeah. You're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, you I have mean, to try it and, you and know why. You know, a question as to why you are here. Then you're prob this <coughs> lifetime probably isn't the answer for you, you know? Yeah, that's what it is too. Yeah. yeah. This isn't your only life. But you I don't know, they tried to make you Christian for a while and your mom likes God too, so it's like <laughs> Your mom likes God. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds so fucking funny. Your mom likes God. <laughs> I think that's just like <coughs> so you understood religion, you know? Yeah, to no, a point. yeah. No, yeah, my dad uh, uh, did not like religion. I don't know what it was, but he wasn't, like, atheist. But they, he just... My mom because was real he, Christian when they met. Uh-huh. So, like, my mom tried to get us to go to church growing up. But my dad was, like, always, like, no, hell no. Right? But yeah. there was Maybe those couple times where, where... Like, when my mom and dad split up, my mom drug us to, like, two or three different churches. And then we just kind of stopped going anywhere with our mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think that maybe, I don't know, your dad was really into all the the Asian culture and everything. So he obviously, okay, yeah, because he wanted something to identify with, right? To be able to dedicate to. But he wasn't on the hunt for answers about his life, you know? He'll come back in the next life. Who, my dad? Yeah. Hmm. And yeah. he'll probably heal a lot. But it's just wild. It's all wild. 
I mean, religion is a good... I mean, what do you... Sorry, just because we're on the subject. What do you think? What do you think caused my father to up and steal everything like he did from his job and get sentenced and all that shit, right? And why did he like? Why did he do all this in the first place and have to run to Mexico? Why? That's why a did good he? Question. Do that? What happened? I never to where thought. He felt like yeah, he had like to do what? This? Why did he feel like he had everything to lose all of a sudden? You know what I mean? <laughs> to where he had to just up and rob. Because it sounds like it sounds like your mom and your dad really loved each other. That was yeah, but you're talking. <coughs> you're talking the beginning. Years later, though. No, I know. So when he when you did this and uh, disappeared. No, I know. So you know, start like, with the idea that your mom and him really loved each other. Okay. Like <laughs> fourteen or fifteen years old or something like that. I don't know. The no, last I was time like I seventeen him. or something. Was it? Yeah, like I'm she bad was seventeen with when yeah. she left because she was pregnant, right? So. Oh, you're talking about my mom. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So she was a child, but your dad was a little bit older, you know. Yeah. So you know, maybe it was just to the point where he was tired of not being able to provide for his family adequately. So he just quit life. And left the country. I like, think money but, rules a lot of people, and maybe. Yeah, but why don't we all do that? Is the question. You know what I mean? Like, what did he see? What made him decide that? And why is he like you know? It's like a self sabotage. Hmm. <clears throat> you know his where his grandpa came from and everyone he was everywhere. He was probably just really. I don't even know who my dad's dad was. <laughs> oh. I have no idea who he is. I, I imagine he's fucked up all to hell. Yeah, exactly. And you <laughs> you know? know, he was like a terrorist or like a... I mean, quite literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, my, my, I, my grandfather, my dad's no, dad no, was in a no. cult. That's yes. what we call it. Um, it was in a cult. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit was real. It was scary. So obviously he was a tyrant. So your dad wanted to do everything that wasn't that. But I th also think that your dad's dad had so many kids that your dad... Might, maybe not have even wanted children. Maybe yeah. he just kept having them, you know? <laughs> like, he didn't know what else to do, but he probably shouldn't have been a dad. He should have worked on himself. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a good-looking man. That's all I know. That's all I was ever told, anyway. Yeah. You know? <laughs> People, I mean, I don't know. Nick Cannon likes to pop kids out. Nick Cannon got, like, 12 teen kids, right? Yeah, 12 teen <laughs> Yeah, he's like, who's that other guy? Eddie Murphy, man. He, he's the reason that we're going to turn into that show, Idiocracy. Who's just the reason? Just a bunch of Nick Cannons. Oh, <laughs> just a bunch of baby Nick Cannons. <laughs> Hey, well, if they're uh, if they're Mariah Carey's, though, they'd be good looking, there right? Go. <laughs> be good looking yeah, kids, going on. right? We'd be good looking kids, all right. Bunch of dumb, good looking people. That's what we need. But yeah, I just <laughs> think that uh, I think that you're definitely here to break cycles. But I don't know, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't ride bicycles too often, but if I did, I would definitely break it. Mm -hmm. So, on that note, we thank you. All right, so. We appreciate you guys being here tonight. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Peace. Peace.